Good morning, boys and girls. Glad you are here. I'm excited. I hope that you are excited for another episode of Kids Church. Here we go. Here's our PowerPoint for this morning. I will let Jesus, that's right, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, I will let Jesus show me the way. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. But first, you know what's up. That's right, it's song time. So here we go, sing with me. One of my favorites, one of your favorites. <laughs> okay here's our verse for today Jesus said watch this I am the light of the world he who follows me that's key right there shall not walk in darkness but have the light of life John 8 and verse 12 let's go back to our PowerPoint I will let Jesus show me the way there's lots of people out there that want to show us the way well let's let Jesus show us the way. 
One of those guys in the Bible that let Jesus show him the way was the Apostle Paul. We're going to learn a little bit about him and what he did in his life. So check out the scriptures right here. 1 Corinthians 9 verses 19 and through 23. Check this out. For since I am free from all, I can make myself a slave to all in order to gain even more people. To the Jews, I became like a Jew to gain the Jews. To those under the law, I became like one under the law, though I myself am not under the law. Why? To gain those under the law. To those free from the law, I became like one free from the law, though I am not free from God's law, but under the law of Christ. Why? To gain those free from the law. To the weak, guess what? I became weak in order, what? To gain the weak. I have become all things to all people, so that by all means I might save some. Now, boys and girls, this is a lot of stuff going on here. What does it actually mean? Well, there's a lot of stuff. But I want you to notice something. His whole motivation for his life, this whole passage of Scripture, it screams of evangelism. It screams of, hey, I want to get people saved. I want to see people born again. I want to see people ushered into the kingdom of God. Now, here Paul... Paul was free to do whatever he wanted to do, but bringing people to Jesus Christ was more important to him than anything else in the entire world. Paul pursued one goal, and that goal was to win people to Jesus Christ. Proverbs 11.30, the Bible says this in the Old Testament, He who is wise wins souls. Where did Paul get all this from? <laughs> he learned it from Jesus Christ. When Jesus Christ was on this world, his main goal was to tell people how to become born again, how to become saved, how to be followers of God. And Paul learned that, and Paul said, I want to be like Christ. Boys and girls, we need to be like Christ. We need to be sensitive to people, knowing that without Jesus Christ, life is not good. It is terrible. Paul learned that. And Paul was sensitive. And he wanted to tell more people about Jesus Christ. This was what was motivating him. Check this out. Paul reached out to people to help them spiritually. He was willing to do anything to try and get people to know and believe in Jesus Christ. Boys and girls, we need to follow Paul's example right there. And basically reach out to people and tell people about Jesus Christ. If we don't do it, who will? We need to do that. We need to have the same motivation and the desire that the Apostle Paul had. Check this out, 1 Corinthians. Uh, Be imitators of me, Paul says, as I am of Christ. See, Paul was imitating Jesus Christ. And Paul said, imitate me as I imitate Christ. Christ was concerned about believers and concerned about people on their spiritual path. And so was Paul. Paul also wrote this in Romans 10.1. My heart's desire, my heart's desire and my prayer to God for them is for their salvation. Paul was concerned about people and concerned about their salvation. My question is, are you concerned about people's salvation? Paul was Christ was, we need to be as well. Check this out. Do you not know that those who run in a race all run, but only one receives the prize? The Bible says, run in such a way that you may obtain it. What's he talking about? Well, sporting events were big in Paul's day, as well as in our day, this was especially meaningful to the Corinthians because their city was the center for the Ithmian, I think I'm saying that right, games. It was second only to the Olympic games. 
And Paul often talked about competition and it included examples of runners and boxers and gladiators and chariot racers and trophies. In a race, the athletes prepared. The prepared themselves and they trained hard. They trained very hard. On race day, everybody runs, but only one wins the trophy. What is Paul trying to say here? What he's trying to say is train hard or go home. Train hard when it comes to Jesus. Train hard. Know that Jesus Christ is important and evangelism is important. Run the race, the race, the Christian life, and winning others to Christ, that's the race. Reaching out to others so that they hear about Jesus Christ, about the gospel, that's the race. And Christ and Paul, God wants us to run that race and tell others about Jesus Christ. Not sometime, but all the time. You see, boys and girls, it's not just the pastor's job to do this. It's everybody's job. That's what Paul noticed, and Paul spent his life telling others about Jesus Christ and how to become saved and how to become born again. Boys and girls, that's our job too. You might say, well, that makes me a little bit nervous and makes me scared. Hey, well, I'm scared too, but with the power of the Holy Spirit, we can do this. Again, our PowerPoint, I will let Jesus Show me the way. Why? For he is the light of the world. Because he is the light. And also the Bible says, uh, greater is he that is in us than he that is in this world. And because of that, we can tell people about Jesus Christ. We can show them the way. Now you need to know the way. You need to study. You need to memorize. You need to read the word of God and what it talks about when it comes about being born again. Uh, Romans Road is a great passage to know and to memorize, to be able to present to people. See, you can't just say, hey, be a believer in Jesus Christ and walk away. <laughs> it doesn't work. You need to use the scriptures to be able to reason with people and, and then be able to tell them about who Christ is. Let's talk about our today's life story. Olivia, she steps out of her comfort zone. Anytime that I tell someone about Jesus Christ, about how to become born again, <laughs> I'm stepping out of my comfort zone. So Olivia steps out of her comfort zone. One of her friends, Ethan, Ethan says, hey, look it, I've got a plan to tell people about Jesus Christ. So Ethan shows Olivia, and he outlines it on a piece of paper. He writes down Romans Road. He writes down John 3, 16. He writes down... Um, different passages, different verses in the Bible uh, and says, Olivia, would you help me show people about who Christ is and the hope that he brings and the help that he brings? And Olivia's looking at it and she goes, mm, I'm not too sure I'm ready for this. But Olivia, she's born again. She's saved, but she is nervous. And boys and girls, we all get nervous we all get nervous when it comes to telling others about Jesus, but with the help of Christ, we can do that. So Ethan gives the plan to Olivia. Ethan talks to Jessica, Olivia's friend, and says, hey, Jessica, would you go next to Olivia and kind of encourage her and tell her that it'll be okay, it'll be, it'll be tough, it'll be hard, but, but telling others about Jesus, it is so, so important. So uh, Jessica says, yes, I'll do that. So Jessica goes and, and talks to her and Olivia goes, you know, maybe I should do this. I need to step out of my comfort zone. I need to tell others about Jesus. My brother needs Jesus Christ. My brother needs to be saved. So she's concerned about her brother. So the first thing she does is she begins to pray for her brother. Boys and girls, this is the first thing that we should do. When we go and evangelize, like the Apostle Paul did, like Jesus Christ did, like Peter did, first bathe it in prayer and say, Lord, help me, show me, help me remember the scripture, help me to know what to say. 
So Olivia begins to pray for her brother. And her brother works at a hospital, works as a driver for an ambulance. And she begins to pray and say, God, give me the right words. I really want to talk to my brother about salvation. And boys and girls, this is so important to do this. And God answers prayer like this. While she's praying, guess what happens? Her brother gives her a call from work and says, Hey, sis, how's it going? And Olivia says, You know what? It's going good. And she begins to tell him about Jesus Christ. And he listens, and he's listening, and she's quoting scripture, John 3.16, Romans 10, 9 and 10 and verse 13. And he's, she's going through all this. Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. And he's listening. And guess what her brother does? He bows his head while he's on the phone. And he says, I want to be a follower of Jesus Christ. Now, Olivia, she was totally out of her comfort zone. She was nervous. She was scared. But she did it. And guess what, boys and girls? The Lord honored her prayer request and he gets saved he becomes born again that is just so fantastic so olivia she's with jessica and she starts telling others about jesus christ she's starting to tell this boy about who christ is and this boy begins to think and says you know what i've got friends in in my neighborhood i know different people who probably need jesus christ see boys and girls when we start reaching out, communicating the gospel, evangelize others like the Apostle Paul did, then there's no stopping it. So he begins to think about, how can I do this? And so it just kind of goes rapidly and fast and it's just exciting news. So, so far the plan uh, is, is working great. So let's see what happens. Well... They decide to go and tell the neighbor's boy and, and, and to the kids in the neighborhood. And they start knocking on doors and they're saying, hey, we're going to tell you about Jesus Christ. Now, they, they have the scripture ready and they have, they have all the proof right there. And they start talking about Jesus and they go through the scripture and the verses and everything. And guess what? That boy listens as well. Then they go to another neighbor. Then there's this girl. They start talking. Olivia starts talking to her, and she gets more bold. She gets more courageous and starts talking to her as well. And so she hears the gospel. Now, boys and girls, we're not responsible for the response of the individual. We're responsible to tell others about Jesus Christ. So we're responsible for planting the seed is what they call it getting the information out, and let the Holy Spirit do His work. Let's see what happens. She gets on the phone. She's looking pretty excited. She begins to talk, call other friends of hers and says, Hey, let me tell you about Jesus Christ. She's excited. <laughs> They're all excited. You know what? She is doing what the Scripture says. She is letting Jesus show her the way. Boys and girls, Let's do that. Let's let Christ show us the way, especially in the area of evangelism. Paul said, be imitators of me. So we all got to do our part. Charla here, she can't do her part, but you can do your part and I can do my part. Check out these two guys that are doing their part in spreading the gospel and evangelizing for the sake of Jesus Christ. Check this out. Was that fantastic or what? Those two guys on the corner of a street corner telling people and spreading the gospel. That is awesome.
Paul has challenged us in his scriptures, in God's word, to be imitators of Christ. And that's what we need to do. We need to imitate Paul as Paul imitated Jesus Christ. One of the things that was on Christ's heart was that people would have a relationship with the God of the Bible. Paul was concerned about it. Christ was concerned about it. The disciples were concerned about it. Your pastor's concerned about it. I'm concerned about it. Boys and girls, let's let that be one of the things that marks us as a Christian. Let's take the boldness that Christ has given us and tell others about who Jesus Christ is. Let's give hope to people. Let's, let's tell people about who Jesus Christ is. Will you do that this week? Will you, will you take a step of faith and just tell others about Jesus? Maybe begin right at home with your brother or your sister, with kids in your neighborhood, with people around you. Let's begin to be imitators of Jesus Christ. That's what Paul did. <laughs> we can do that too. Because greater is he that is in us than he that is in this world. May God richly bless you this week. And God bless mom. God bless you, dad. Have a great week. Bye-bye. And remember, everything will be okay. It will. It will be okay.